Hi everybody, don't mind the hair. <laughs> just got out of the shower. Um, I was just going to make a quick video this morning on what I do when I'm kind of in a hurry. Um, to I've got a lot of errands to do today. So um, usually my morning starts by going downstairs and feeding Haley and getting her a shower and making her bed. And then what I try to do is I try to get my kids fed breakfast, my dogs fed breakfast, and all, all her medication. And then I try, I come up here and I take a shower and that's where I'm at now. Now usually I have time to like straighten up my house, but today I don't. I have like literally no food in the house. I need to go grocery shopping and I need to do some errands today. So I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way. I don't totally do my makeup on these days because I just, I just simply don't have the time or the whatnot to really, I just want to get going. So today, after Nala's acupuncture, this is what she is doing. Nala, she's a little sleepy today. Oh, my camera is not, I don't know why it's not focusing by itself. It should be. Let's see if I stay, there we go. She was really sore last night. I slept downstairs with her. Um, and they put her on more drugs, so she was really out of it. And she follows me all over the house, and she had a hard time doing that last night if I got up and had to check on Haley or go to the bathroom, so. So yeah, so I'm going to get started on the video. That's just something that I do every single morning of my life. And um, we will get started. Okay, so I'm back and unfortunately my hair is not playing nice with me today. It looks rather awful. And you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but I've got my, my roots are starting to peak. I don't use permanent hair dye on my hair because I bleached it mm, about three months ago and I damaged the ends and so I'm always afraid of putting any harsh chemicals on it. So I use the Manic Panic Rock and Roll Red and it's vegan and it actually conditions my hair to where when I put it in my hair is healthier than before I put it in and I'll wear it for hours like I'll clean the house or do something with um, like um, saran wrap over my head and then a turbo twist and just let it sit there so uh, let's see so I'm gonna show you just a really quick makeup tutorial today I have a lot to do like I said before and I've already moisturized my face with my uh, hyaluronic hyaluronic acid from uh, it's called timeless and my uh, Olay Micro Sculpting Moisturizer and my CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. And so today I just I got everything laid out so it doesn't take too long. And I just thought I would go ahead and prime my face with the Benefit Profe Professional instead of using the other one. I like to go back and forth. Let me see, maybe I can roll in here a little so you can see there that's better I just get this all over my face so I wanted to let you know yesterday when we took Nala to Walnut Creek I uh, wore the IT Cosmetics the CC cream and the, <coughs> the powder and you know what? I really, really wanted to like that foundation. I it, it had so many things that I liked to put on my face. By the end of the day, my face looked awful. It had actually clumped around my, I don't know if it's, I guess oxidized maybe, around my um, mouth, which I have a lot of problems with. I don't know why, maybe it's oily, but um, I'm taking it back. I didn't really care for it that it did that and I really needed it to stay all day yesterday and it's not like I was sweating because it was raining yesterday and even though it was humid I was in an air-conditioned car all day so I wasn't too happy about that so 
I'm going to take that back today and actually I have a couple things from Tarte coming. Um, some foundations that Tarte has out now and I'll review them for you when I get them and then my sweet husband went ahead and um, gave me a little a little cacho to go to Ulta and get a couple new things that I can review on here for you. So I'm just going to go ahead. I've um, shown this before. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation in Light. It's a 12 hour makeup, oil free it says. And I do like this stuff. Now if you don't like thick foundations you don't want to use this because as you can see it's a thick foundation. It's a full coverage, definitely a full coverage foundation. And when they say it lasts 12 hours, I've already tested this one. It does. And I am sweating, you know, sweating just drives me absolutely insane. It just makes me... <laughs> It just makes me want to go take all my makeup off when I sweat because I feel like it's all falling into my, the underneath my skin, like into my bloodstream. <laughs> it just feels like everything on me opens up. And I am such a sweater and I never used to be, but I think it's just, I think it's just my time to do this. Get, you know, hot flashes and... I'm starting anyways. My mom started early, so I guess that's why I'm doing it. So what I do with this is I spread it on. And then with this brush, it's, it's a great foundation brush, but I'll notice that my um, foundation will look a little streaky, especially if I'm sweat. <coughs> excuse me, if I'm sweating. So what I'll do is I'll go back over it and I'll just pounce it. Make sure you get your neck so you pull it down and come on camera. Don't do this to me. Not today. I want this. So, that is what it looks like. And I I love it. It's it's heavy, but it's when you look at it, it's very natural looking. Very natural looking foundation. I would say that this foundation is heavier than my Estee Lauder, and my Estee Lauder is a pretty heavy foundation, so um, that might tell you something and since I don't really have anything under my eyes I don't get like dark circles or bags I mean I cannot sleep for nights and still not get dark circles or bags like kind of lucky that way so I'm just gonna go ahead and take my my Rimmel stay mat and I'm just going to pounce that over with my real techniques brush this is just a powder brush I'm just gonna pounce that over real quick just to set that foundation okay. my hair is you know it's to that stage that it doesn't want to do anything so I have to pull it back <laughs> and to me that makes it look awful so I'm going to now take my Park Avenue Princess. I love this. If you haven't gotten this, you really should check it out if you have fair skin. I love this palette. I probably could say I love it more than my Bare Minerals palette, and I love that stuff too. And I'm going to take my... You know, I forgot I had this. I've had this for a year or so. This is my IT Cosmetics. These are the what the brushes look like. They are so plush. Look at that. They are so worth their money. They are super nice brushes. This is It Cosmetics by Jamie Kern. And I'm going to pounce that in the uh, bronzer. Just like that. And I'm going to pop that right under my cheekbone and get a nice contour going there and then I'm going to do the other side just like that 
And then I'm going to take my Sedona Lace 850 and I'm just going to go ahead and just blend that out very smoothly. Don't bring it all the way down your face, which is a mistake sometimes I make. Just make that contour right there. Just blend it out so you don't have any harsh lines. Okay. And then, oops, and then I'm going to take that bronzer and pop it on the sides of my nose. I say pop it. Pop it. Just, uh, hey baby. This is my Winston. I don't take pictures of him. Have you ever seen a St. Bernard that likes to wear shirts? Look at him. He loves to wear my husband's shirts. Have you ever seen that before? Winston. Winnie. Hi. He looks like, my, my son says he looks like a hillbilly, a half shirt hillbilly. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he is so funny. Since the time he was a puppy, my husband would come home from work and he would dress him. He'd put socks on his feet, shorts on, his shorts on him, and he just likes that. And so every time my husband comes home, he expects my husband to take, you know, dress him. And he's had that on all night, so you take it off of him and he's extremely upset. I have never, ever, ever seen a dog wear clothes, I mean doggy clothes, yeah, but not, he's so funny. You know, each dog, even my little ones, they have their own, their own personality. You know, they are us. They are just like us. You take a drink. Oh, that feels so good. Okay, now I'm going to take my Sigma Powder Blush F10. And I'm going to take this pink in this palette. And I'm going to put it on the backs of my cheeks right above that you can tell I'm sweating because my hair is attaching to everything it touches come on now and then my brushes like to shed a lot okay I'm just gonna put a little bit on I like to look you know like I have a little color even when I'm just going out for errands because I have absolutely no color I am a whitey hence my maiden name whitey which is okay okay and then I'm going to take my Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35, and I'm going to take this highlighter right here, and I'm just going to go over that blush, just make a little highlight so I look like I've seen the sun all day long and it has kissed my face, just like that. So I look a little glowy, which is a good thing, I have to look something, and so I'm going to put on my eyeshadow primer, put my eyebrows on because you know what, if I don't I look funny without my eyebrows done because my hair is obviously a different color than what it would be naturally. There is never a dull moment in this house, let me tell you. Never. I remember when my husband and I had one child naps during the day if we got tired. <laughs> We don't do that anymore. That's long time gone. That's what happens when you have kids. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take my favorite Brow Wiz from, oh, come on, from Anastasia, and I'm going to go ahead and I need to pluck my eyebrows one of these days. And just really try to get my eyebrows on quickly as quickly as I can because you can't really rush eyebrows I wish I could though I wish I was that good some people can just race through it but I, I can't I've never been able to 
My eyebrows demand attention. Okay, there's one. I'm gonna get this one done. My grandma always used to say, because when, when I'd go see her, I which was often I would always have my hair a different color and she'd always tell me how it changed my features how hair color changes your the way you look and and she's you know she was so right it, it is true hair color does so much it changes you so much the way you look because then you've got to, you know, kind of change your makeup around to that, too. Okay, and then I'm going to take the little spoolie. I'm going to go back over this, kind of buff it, buff it out, a little brushing out here. And then I'm going to go ahead with my Anastasia Brow Gel. And this is just in clear. I don't have this in a color. You only need a little bit, just, and it will keep your brows there all day. No budging. Okay, so I have these beautiful shadows. They're just in, I have them in an e.l.f. case because I didn't want them to get ruined. These are from Makeup Geek, and I thought I would wear these today because they are so natural and so beautiful. So the first one that I'm going to take is, oh no, is Vanilla Bean, and there it is. Makeup Geek has some beautiful eyeshadows. I'm going to take the Urban Decay Naked 2 flat brush and I'm going to pat that on the bottom lid of my eyelid. Remember, this is just, I'm not putting on any eyeliner today. This is just going to be a natural look although I do feel naked when I don't have my eyeliner on I just I just don't feel like going that far today okay so that's what vanilla bean looks like it's really pretty kind of a flesh colored just you know just to put on your eye to give you that base and then I'm gonna take this Barcelona Beach Brown in Makeup Geek and I'm gonna put that in my crease and this brush actually actually came from the Naked palette in the Urban Decay so if you're wondering it's two-sided it came actually with the palette just to put a little color in my eye crease not much just a little bit blend it all out I want to get some more shadows from her I heard her blushes are great is it her blushes? oh I know her eyeshadows everybody Everybody loves her eyeshadows, and they do. They're, they're beautiful colors. Thank you, honey. My daughter made me a picture. Make sure I'm blending that out right. So as you can see, it just gives you a nice, very, very light, very, very light tint of color. I'm going to take my Sedona Lace 954, and I'm going to take Shimmer Shimmer. Oh, like you want to see the back. This is kind of a frosty highlight from Makeup Geek, and I'm going to put that on my eyebrow bone.
Give me a little more color, define my eyebrow. Pull it down a little. I've got some flyaway eyebrows. I know what I'm going to be doing tonight. Got those eyebrows done. a little on my inner corner of my eye to make me look a little bit more awake and glowy. And that is eyeshadow. And then I'm going to take what? I didn't take out any. Mm, I guess I'll go ahead and I'll use my primer. Where is my primer? It's my brow gel. Where are things when you cannot find them? Oh, it's right in front of me. Sorry. I'm going to take my Urban Decay Subversion Thicker, Longer, Stronger Lash Primer. And I'm going to put a coat of that over my, that's the wand, over my eyelashes. like that. As you can see, it's just a white primer. I just put it on my upper lashes. I don't use this for the bottom. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and take my Urban Decay Perversion, bigger, blacker, batter, and black. And I'm going to, what I do with this is I kind of take a little bit off because it can get clumpy. So I just kind of run the brush through the tube. because it yeah it'll put too much on the brush and then you'll find you have clump eyes or it's getting all over your eyelid I mean with this mascara you could really really define your <laughs> make your eyelashes totally totally stand out because this stuff really has the power to do that but I just like mine to look not too showy just kind of natural so it definitely lengthens my eyelashes are not that long I wish they were but they're not okay and since that is that, I'm going to go ahead with my Rimmel Stay Matte again with my Real Techniques powder brush. And I'm just going to kind of set this, make sure I'm not going to sweat through anything today. Okay, just, you know, just a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead with my... My, I got this in my Ipsy bag. It's called Caitlin, um, Caitlin Tinted Lip Balm in Big Apple. I love this color. It's a candy red color. It's kind of a neat little application here. It comes with a little brush. And then you open this. And there's your, there's your color. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some of this on my lips. I want to make sure you can see.
This will stay on all day. You will not need to touch this up. And there is the finished, just a natural finished look. Not too much on my eyes. My hair is just going to stay this way because I just don't have time to, to mess with it. And in just a minute, I will show you what I'm wearing on my errand. Okay, so here is my outfit for the day. Um, let me see if I can scan this camera out. There we go. The shirt is very comfortable. It has a really pretty chiffon at the bottom. I got this at New York & Company. This is an extra large. And the pants actually have zippers on the sides, which really didn't make or break me from getting these. These are size 16 and they're stretchy. And for my shoes, I just have on my pair of flip-flops that I've shown before in my, get rid my lookbooks. And that is basically what I am wearing on my day of errands. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh oh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, please give me a thumbs up if you liked it, and if you could subscribe, I would so appreciate it. And I hope that you check out some of my other videos. Yesterday I did a kind of like a, a vlog. Say hi, Gracie. Hi. <laughs> a vlog with um, Nala going to Walnut Creek for her rehab. And the day before, I did a vlog, kind of like just a vlog on my daughter, Haley, so you guys can get to know her a little better. And I will um, introduce you to her and my other kids, too. So I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.